All right, so here we go. Yankees versus Cubs. Nice, Trevor. Nice. What's up, Joker? How's it going, buddy? Led gets uh, our buddy Casey get uh, Casey gets himself a dab. Real excited. No, Matty Ice, I think it's dead now. I think the DH will become the universal rule. So, Yankees versus Cubbies. Debbie Garcia versus Duncan Robinson after the Yankees make a blockbuster trade. Jordan Montgomery and two prospects, an outfielder, Dave Zambrano, who had a cup of coffee with the Yanks earlier this year, and a single-A prospect third baseman goes to the Athletics. For Sean Manea in a contract year to shore up the rotation. As Duncan Robinson makes his 21st start of the year, a 6-3 record, a 4-7-9 ERA. Uh, whip almost at 2, actually, and almost a 1-1 to -one strikeout to walk ratio. As Elvis Vizcaino will lead things off, hitting 313 with 8 homers, 22 RBIs, 11 steals on the year. As this one is skied to center field, first pitch swinging deep to center, and the catch is made on the run by the center fielder for the Cubbies. One away as we now look at the Yankees starting lineup. Vizcaino just flied out, followed by Glaber Torres, Aaron Judge, Gary Sanchez, Luke Voigt, Hicks in center, Gio Urshela at third, Mike Talkman in left, and Debbie Garcia pitching. Yankees lead the American League in homers with 216. Norlax is for all, yes! And that brings up Glaber Torres, who actually hits better on the road, even though he has more home runs at Yankee Stadium. 17 now on the year, 40 RBIs overall. God, I'm hungry. As this one is lined to left, and that's a base hit. So a one-out single for Torres. He takes the first pitch he sees, lines it in the left field. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge, hitting 315 on the year with 38 homers and 99 RBIs. Still looking for home run, no, or excuse me, uh, RBI number 100. Torres off of first. Judge up at the plate. First pitch, swing and a miss on a low fastball, 0 oh, and 1. Robinson throws a fastball, a curveball, and a changeup. Oh, that's, uh, that'd be awesome, Casey. As uh, Judge fouls off a changeup now, 0 oh, and 2. Judge coming off a four hit day against Atlanta. Two doubles, two singles. Scored a few runs. Takes one inside now. Contreras blocks it nicely. One and two. The one two now to Aaron Judge is on its way. A little slow roller off the curveball. Tough play for Robinson. Fields fires the first, just gets Judge. Kind of like a swinging bunt. Torres advances the second on the play. And that'll bring up Gary Sanchez, who has 27 home runs, 58 RBIs in the year. A big game against Atlanta the other night. A 276 average. The first pitch to Sanchez. Tries to get Torres in from second. Swings and misses at a high fastball. 0 and 1. Gary loves it when it's around his eyes. The 0 1 to Gary. Swing and a miss over the top of that curveball. 0 oh and 2. Just a bit out in front. Robinson mixing his speeds nicely. The 0 2 pitch. Bit outside. 1 and 2 as Gary lays off. Pitch number 10 of the inning as Robinson working economically is low to Gary and evens the count up at 2 apiece. Picks his swing and another outside curveball. That loads the count up at three and two. Voigt on deck. The payoff pitch to Gary. Checks his swing. Did he go? No, says the first base umpire. And Sanchez draws the walk. So runners at first and second now with two outs here in the top of the first. And that brings up Luke Voigt. The first pitch to Voigt. Swing and a miss on a curveball, 0 oh and 1. Bottom just went. Whoop. Fell right out of it. Nice Uncle Charlie there from Robinson. The 0 oh 1 pitch now. Outside, even as kind of at one apiece. Not good speed right now in the base pass for the Yankees. Sanchez, one of the slowest Yankees. 
Torres has, at best, okay speed. As there's the dab. The 1-1, one, one, now to Voigt. Fouled back out of play. Good fastball there by Robinson. One and two. <laughs> the snore packs. <laughs> it's a good way. To, that's a good thing to call it. Snore packs. As now Luke Voigt skies one to center field. It is deep, but it is going to be playable as it dies on the track. So the Yankees get a couple base runners, but do not score. We go bottom one. Nothing, nothing. Thanks, Pickle. Take care, buddy. Have a good night. Debbie Garcia making his 22nd start of the year, a 12 and 6 record, an even 5 ERA, and a 3 to 1 strikeout to walk ratio, a 1 6 whip. See what he can do here against the Cubbies. Leading things off is Javi Baez. Takes one high, 1 and 0. Oh. Yankees absolutely dominating the American League East, up by 32 games over 500 now, as uh, Baez fouls off a curve, 1 and 1. Now a slider just a little low, says the umpire, two and one. Looked like a strike to me, but uh, what do I know? I'm just a computer. So that's a ball, again, at the top of the zone, three and one. Baez also usually more of a free swinger. Chops this changeup foul, three and two. So I'm kind of surprised that he's just kind of like, meh, I'm not going to swing at the pitch on the border. Checks his swing on a low fastball, ball four. Yeah, not a good ERA. Indeed, Dark Throat. Maybe. David Bodie now hitting 256. Baez off a of first. Fouls off a of fastball, does Bodie. 0 and 1. Now a changeup nope. low. 1 and 1. one oh. The 1 1 to Bodie. Another yeah. curve, just a little low. 2 and 1. Garcia being squeezed tonight as this slider is smacked foul, and that evens the, come up, uh, the count out at two apiece. Now fouls off a changeup, still two and two. Now a fastball line on the right field line, but that slice is foul. As Garcia just can't seem to find a putaway pitch. As this is now lined on the left field line, another pitch fouled off as this will be pitch number eight to Bodie. Now a high hanging curveball, got under it a bit, skies it to center field. Hicks is there, makes the catch for the first out of the inning. What's up, Luke? How's it going? Uh, no challenge tonight, AD. We started late because I, I was still working, so we're just doing the two franchise games, calling it a night. Javi Baez followed by Bodie. Bryant, Schwarber in left, Contreras is behind the plate, Jason Hayward in right, Ian Happ in center, and Jared Young at first base, Duncan Robinson then pitching. Yeah, sorry guys, not tonight, just a uh, lot going on. Good, good, good. As uh, Baez going to second, the throw, in time! What a rocket by Sanchez, as a swing and a miss on the hit and run on the curveball. Baez is caught stealing. Nice tag applied by Vizcaino. I actually think he might have been safe, but the call goes the Yankee way. It's the ball beat him there. 0-1 oh, now to Bryant as well as he swung and missed on that curveball. Good pitch to run on too. Just, uh, well, sometimes sometimes you just get thrown out by a good catcher. 1-1 one and one now to Bryant. Little chopper towards third. Urshela charges, fires the first. In time, and because of the caught stealing, the walk is erased, and Garcia has an easy first inning as we go top two, no score. Yeah, I think he was safe too. I'm sorry, Lukey. I'm, 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 I hope that everybody who's being affected by the hurricane uh, is minimally affected and that everyone ends up okay, of course. Yeah, they didn't challenge, though, so the Yankees get away with one, guys, but... Uh, and you're right, Funky, you probably do need to be a pro, but I'm just trying to have a little fun here, right? It's just, it's all about the commentary and stuff like that. It's, Hicks checks his swing there in a low pitch, but goes around in the changeup, 0 oh and 1. They play Hicks the pole to the right side, three guys in the right of second. Fouls off another changeup there, 0 oh and 2. The 0-2 oh now. 
Checks his swing on a low fastball, one and two. Topping out about 92, 93 on the gun is Robinson. As that fastball is low, and that evens the count up at two apiece for Aaron Hicks. Uh, not me, AD. <laughs> swing and a miss, another nice curveball there from Robinson to throw to first in time by Contreras to complete the play, one away. And that'll bring up Gio Urshela, who's struggling a bit again lately. Three for his last 21. He did single in the last game against the Braves. Hopes to get something going here for the Yankees in the second. A little late on that one. Fouls it off on the right field line. 0 oh and 1. Just couldn't keep it fair. What's up, Jello? I didn't see the Mets game today, so I don't know. Swing and a miss on a curveball. 0 oh and 2. What's the question, Jello? Ooh, almost Futurama time. The 0-2. Outside, 1-2. I got to count 1-2. Thank you, Reese. Much appreciated. The 1-2 is smacked towards right center field. Hanging curveball. It's going to be one hop against the Ivy. Gio Urshela will have himself a one-out double here in the second. Oh, uh, you know what? That's actually a good call, Jello. I don't know why I don't do that. That's actually a really good question. I should probably change that. Nice, you should talk to Fishy if he's still around. It's also uh, Fishy's favorite show if he's still in here. As uh, that brings up Mike Talkman now with a man on second and one out. I'd be surprised if Robinson actually pitches to him. Swing and a miss on a high fastball, 0 oh and 1. That was close, actually. Uh, I think that's a very good trade, actually, Matty. I think uh, as there's a nice change up to Talkman, 0 oh and 2. I mean, you got two quality starting pitchers back. For three guys who, although start or start capable, um, you have depth in the Yankee organization. Yeah, I know. I saw that that Bruins Lightning game. I did not see the Lightning winning that, but winning. I thought I knew they won Game Two. I did not see them doing that Game Three. That's for sure. As this is fouled back and I play one and two. I mean, it is to make it a bit more realistic, Jello. But I guess I could turn it off because it sure is annoying. The one-two now to Talkman. Grounded to the right side. Urshela will go to third on the play. Easily throwing him out is uh, Bodie. Two away here in the second. And that will bring up Debbie Garcia, the pitcher, who's one for two on the year. Love to help out his own cause here with the first run of the game 90 feet away. Swing and a miss on a high fastball. 0 oh and 1. <laughs> yeah, a lot of folks from Boston are typically trolls. The 0-1. Swing and a miss on a changeup to Garcia. 0-2. Oh Swing and a miss on the strike three, a fastball on the inside. So Robinson works out of a jam. We go bottom two. No score. As Kyle Schwarber leads things off here for the Cubs. Takes a fastball for a strike, 0-1. Oh right down the middle by Garcia. Now a changeup fouled off the plate, 0-2. Oh I didn't see the Flyers game, but that I, I did see the final. Uh, I did see Hayes' first goal. Uh, former New York Rangers. That misses outside, 1-2. and two. The 1-2 now to Schwarber. Checks his swing on the low fastball, two and two. And now swings and misses on the inside slider, spun him around like a top, one away here in the second. And that brings up Wilson Contreras, 265, seven homers, 23 RBIs. Takes the strike belt, 0 oh and one. Garcia, not afraid to live in the top of the zone. This one, though, is rocketed from the bottom of the zone out of the ballpark. 
Goodbye, baseball! Two fastballs in a row, and Contreras did not miss the second one. His eighth of the year, as the Cubs make themselves look like a bunch of jerks. one nothing Chicago. And that will now bring up Jason Hayward. I know that's what they do with the Cubs. Well, I just, whatever. <laughs> Outside one and oh. It's different when it gets done to you. This one fouled off by Hayward, one and one. Garcia trying to bounce back off the home run by Contreras. That misses low, two and one. I mean, hey, sometimes, sometimes you're gonna give one up. It's a good, potent cubby lineup. As this curveball's chopped to first, Voigt there will take it himself, two away here in the second. And now that'll bring up Ian Happ, center fielder for the Cubbies. Takes a strike on the corner, 0 oh and 1. Uh, right now, AD, is uh, DeGrom, for sure. As that's called a strike on the inside corner, 0 oh and 2. Thank you, sir. Now a hanging slider. Ugh. Knew it as soon as I let go of it. Doink it off the pole. Goodbye, baseball. Half 16th of the year. And it's 2 nothing Cubbies. Yep, a slider that just kind of became a cement mixer. Obviously not where uh, Garcia wanted it. Tried to get it inside, like against Schwarber. As there's a strike, 0-1. Oh, now there's a strike, 0-2. Oh, and, oh, and two. Swing and a miss on the changeup, strike three. But a pair of solo home runs by the Cubs makes it two nothing. A submit one was a good one. We give credit to Contreras. He turned on an inside fastball. The second one, he just Garcia just spun a slider that did not slide, and it was crushed by Hap, who just kept it fair. As Vizcaino pops up the first pitch, Contreras on the line makes the catch for the first out of the inning. Well, that's because you have no offense, AD. <laughs> and that brings up Glaber Torres now, who singled in his first at bat. Yankees down 2 0 here in the third against the Cubs. Porcello's one of those guys who goes good year, bad year, good year, bad year. He was due for a bad year. As that's fouled back by Torres, 0 and 1. The 0 1 to Glaber, outside, 1 and 1. Yeah. The 1-1 one, one pitch is hammered back up the middle. That's going to dunk him for a base hit. An absolute frozen rope off the bat of Torres. So another single for him, and that'll bring up Judge with one on and one out. Yeah, Cano is done, Darkstroke. He's just, yeah, he's not what he was. Oh, I know, Casey. Oh, I missed going to the ballpark. First pitch to Judge. This is hammered over the head of uh, Baez. It's going to be cut off in center field by Hap. Torres is going to go first to third. And back-to-back -back singles here have the Yankees in business in the third. With a chance for Gary Sanchez to get at least one run in here. The runners at the corners. Cubbies at double play depth. Sanchez can't check his swing on the outside changeup. 0-1. The 0-1 to Gary is inside outed on the right field line. It is going to dunk foul. Just missed the bloop single there. Robinson would love a strikeout here, possibly get out of this. And Sanchez spoils a good fastball at the belt, 0 oh and 2. Yeah, no, I've been to Citizens Bank. I'm, Citizens Bank is one of my favorite ballparks, as much as I hate to admit it. As uh, Sanchez takes a ball low, 1 and 2. Runners at the corners, one out. Yankees down by two, top three. And this one is a hanging curveball. Hammered down the left field line. It's gone! It just kept carrying out of here. And Gary Sanchez gives the Yankees the lead with one swing of the bat. 
Goodbye baseball! The Kraken! The Sanchez! The Rainmaker! The man of a thousand nicknames! It's a three-run home run in back-to-back -back games for Sanchez! And just like that, the Yankees are now up by one. Once. I threw one perfect game with Paxton in 2020 against the Brewers, Matty Ice. There you go, a bad launch angle, but just got it out of the out of here. And that brings up Voigt now with one on one out and no one on. And Luke Voigt swings and pops up the first pitch to shallow left. Coming on is Schwarber. He makes the catch for the second out of the inning. That brings up Aaron Hicks now, who's 0 for 1 with a strikeout, going through a bit of a cold spell. Went 1 for 5 in his last game. Checks his swing on the changeup, but goes around since the home plate umpire 0 and 1. And, uh, isn't it Rosario for the Mets? Swing and a miss on the fastball by Hicks 0 and 2 as they play in the pole to the right side. Three guys on the right a second. Rosario is real quick. As this is fouled off by Hicks. I've always seen everything I've seen of him. He's been a pretty slick fielder, too. Just not a lot of pop in that bat. If he ever got his average up, he'd be a real threat. The 0 2 to Hicks is low and outside. 1 and 2. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, Edie. I don't watch the Mets enough to really be considered an expert on this. But I, I've always liked Rosario as, a, as, a, as an infielder. As a, oh, and this one gets away from Robinson and plunks Hicks on the hip. So now Gio Urshela will be up with a man on and two outs. He doubled in his last at-bat. Yeah, he's just fast. He can't hit, though. The first pitch to Gio is grounded to second. Going the short way is Bode, and that will end the third for the Yankees. But Gary... Uh, you do get stubs, Brandon. Yes, you do. As Gary Sanchez fires a laser beam down the left field line to put the Yankees up 3-2. to two. Heidi Watney's talking, which no one cares about. Now leading things off is the pitcher, Duncan Robinson, hitting a buck 38 with an RBI on the year. No homer. Swings through a fastball, 0 and 1. Tried to ambush uh, Garcia there, who's uh, very happy to get the hopefully easy out here. This is fouled off, 0 and 2. Uh, it's a little, I would say. As this slider now is poked on the first baseline, Voigt will take it himself. One away here in the third. As you see there the standings in the American League East. The Yankees up by four and a half on Boston. And that brings up Javi Baez, who uh, led the game off with a walk and then was caught stealing. Takes a fastball right down the middle, 0 and 1. Nice. <laughs> I love it when I get food and like I become you, you're, like, you're an influencer, Casey. You're a food influencer. That misses outside one and one. So far, so good, Cortez. We won the first game 13 to 11. Now we're up three to two against the Cubs as that misses inside the Baez two and one. The uh, two one to Javi fouls off a curveball there. Two and two now. Speaking of food, you got some Yankee fans here behind home plate. Chowing down on some Chicago dogs. The 2 2 outside with the changeup, 3 and 2. Don't want to walk him again, but he just might. But no, this one a little slow chopper back up the middle. Tough play. Oh, and Torres boots it. Baez will reach. It was going to be a tough play. That's ruled an infield single for Baez. So one on and one out, and that brings up Bode, who flew out the center field in his first at bat. And there goes Baez again, and again he's going to be out at second. Caught stealing for the second time today and thrown out again on a curveball of all things. But a beautiful throw by, and he's definitely out that time. The first time was questionable, but that time he was definitely out. So a big pitch there by uh, Garcia. Two away, no one on, as this is lined back up the middle, and that's a base hit for Bodie. So that caught stealing really hurts the Cubs with one on and two outs now. Well, I would say this, Cole, Cole was robbed of the Cy Young last year than by Verlander. 
I would say that you also have better pitchers in the American League overall over the course of Cole's career. Uh, as that's low, one of course I know he spent most of his career with Pittsburgh, but he didn't really start to turn into what he is now until he got to Houston. Which you could also say is because who wants to play in Pittsburgh? As that's fouled back one and one. The one one now to Chris Bryant low, two and one. Schwarber on deck. The two one curveball outside, three and one. As uh, Garcia a little wild today. And that's ball four, so a two out walk. I know wins aren't everything, AD. I mean, I remember when King Felix won the Cy Young when he was 14 and 13, I think it was. As Schwarber 0 for 1 today. Fouls off a fastball. 0 and 1. Now a curveball in the dirt, 1 and 1. Garcia seems to be uh, nibbling a bit here. As this fastball's ripped foul, 1 and 2. Yeah, AD Merp, there you go. Exact same thing. Yeah, it's like. The one two, slider low, evens it up at two and two, as Schwarber would not chase. Now a curveball low, three and two, Contreras on deck. The three two payoff pitch is low, ball four. For some reason, the Cubs just aren't swinging at anything that uh, is being offered up by Garcia. And the Yankees are already gonna look to their bullpen as Adam is gonna start warming. Contreras fouls off a fastball, 0 oh, and 1. Slider misses just outside, 1 and 1. Base is loaded, nowhere to put the Contreras. But there's a strike with the changeup, 1 and 2. Can Garcia get out of this jam? Curveball, chopped the third. Urshela there, fires the first in time, and that'll end the inning. So Garcia works into and out of trouble. We go top four, Yankees still up three to two. Oh, thank you, Cortez, much appreciated, buddy. I think Heidi Watney's about to talk. The Yankees, 2009, the Mets, uh, have two World Series and only four appearances in their in their history. So don't doesn't matter when the last you were there, AD. It matters what you actually do when you get there. <laughs> uh, as Mike Talkman, 287, 19 homers, 50 RBIs, 0 and 1, grounded out earlier. I mean, because your team your team got blown up after you made it to the 15 World Series against the Royals, as that's fouled back out of play, 0 and 1. Adovino's going to sit down now as Garcia worked out of a huge jam there in the third. Yankees hope they can get him through five. As Talkman skies one to deep right, but playable. Uh, Hap calling off Hayward makes the catch in the alley for the first out of the inning. The reason why I say that they hope Garcia can go five is because he's going to get another at bat right here as he struck out in his first. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> I remember AD Murp. You, got, you guys... It was, that was tough, especially for them to celebrate at City Field, the Royals, if I remember correctly. Because uh, they had home field advantage, I think. The 0-1 now to Garcia. Swing and a miss on a fastball, 0-2. This should be an easy out for Robinson. The 0-2. Caught on the corner, called strike three. Down looking goes Garcia, and that will bring up Elvis Vizcaino. 0 for 2 with a pop out and a line out. It's a it's a pretty good comeback though, AD. Like, uh, as this is hit to the right side, Bodie there throws the first. And a quick 1-2-3 inning for the Cubs. They set the Yankees down in order. We go bottom four, still 3-2 New York. Oh, stop talking, Heidi Watney. Leading things off here is uh, Hayward in the fourth. 
As there's a fastball for a strike at the knees. 0 oh and 1. Garcia actually does better against the lefties than the righties today. A swing and a miss on a change up there. 0 oh and 2. 0 oh, 2. Now curveball just a little low, says the umpire. As Hayward checks his swing. 1 and 2. Now a high fastball, two and two, as Hayward lays off. Let's see if we can't get this backdoor slider to work. Oh, that was strike three, but he doesn't get the call. Three and two now to Hayward. Garcia's been getting squeezed all day, and now it's ball four as that fastball gets away from him. Ian Happ now hit a solo home run in his first at bat. Takes the strike at the knees, 0 oh and 1. Now a changeup outside and low, 1 and 1. Okay, AD, but let's let's just take World Series then from when the Mets came into existence. The Yankees still have, I believe, seven uh, since then, so it's like, is this a swan and miss? Two and two. The 2-2 two, two to Hap. Strike three. This time it's called in the outside corner. A beautiful backdoor slider. One away here in the seventh. Or the, the seventh, the fourth. Brain <laughs> fart. Jared Young now up. He's 0 for 1. He struck out his first at bat. That fastball misses outside 1 and 0. Oh. Take care, Cortez. Have a good one, buddy. Slider, line towards short. Torres handles it on a hop. Goes to second for one on the first. It's a 6-4-3 rally killer. What a double play turned by the Yankees. And just like that, Garcia once again gets out of a jam. We go by a top five. Yankees still up by one. Yeah. <laughs> Glaber Torres now two for two with two singles. A run scored on the Sanchez home run earlier. Robinson, only the one mistake to Gary Sanchez, really, as that fastball misses inside. 1-0. and oh. Double barrel action now for the Cubs in the pen. Miller and McGill. Don't forget to give a follow if you haven't yet, uh, folks. As uh, Torres pops that up to right, fairly deep but playable. Hayward there. Backs up a step now, makes the catch for the first out of the inning. They can be. I would say this year the Yankees are very overrated. Everyone thought that Cole was going to solve all our problems. Well, obviously that hasn't happened. Aaron Judge now up at the plate. He singled in his last at bat. Snacks this up the middle and has singled again. His second base hit of the day. He scored earlier on the Sanchez home run. Well, also, the, yeah, the Mets have a terrible man, uh, ownership and whatnot. Uh as Aaron Judge gets his 119th or 120th hit of the, of the year, my apologies. That brings up Sanchez again. There's that man again, Gary Sanchez, a man on and a man out. Pops the fastball back and out of play, 0 oh and 1. Just a bit early on a slow two seamer. Now it takes a curveball inside, 1 and 1. I'm feeling better, Garrett. Much appreciated, buddy. Uh, I feel almost 100%. I think by tomorrow I should be back to normal completely. But uh, feeling good. I appreciate you stopping by. And uh, one and one now to Sanchez. Judge off of first. Yankees up by one. One out here in the top of fifth. The one one. Fouled back out of play by Gary. One and two. The uh, one two now to Sanchez. Foul off to the right side as he spoils another fastball. Still one and two. Judge off of first. Yankees up by one. Top five, one out here in the beautiful confines of Wrigley Field. As that curveball misses low and inside. Two and two. Yeah, you guys had some amazing guys, and you only got one World Series out of that. You guys are like the Braves of the, of the 80s. Braves of the 90s and the Mets of the 80s, very similar. All these amazing players, all these amazing wins. You got one World Series out of the decade. Not yet, Garrett. As soon as we're done with this game, probably. The 2-2 to Gary, fouled off and out of play. Still 2-2. Two two. 
Of course, that's also because I think you guys had a drug problem in that locker room, not gonna lie. Unlike the Braves, who had a steroid problem. The 2-2 to Gary is lined the second. Bodie behind the backflip, bare hand to, 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 to Baez, who throws the first in time. It's 4-6-3, and just like that, what a trick turn by the Cubbies. Bodie goes behind his back, Baez bare hands, throws the first. An inning-ending double play as we go bottom five. Yankees up by one. It's all right, Garrett. It's fine. As Victor Caratini now comes on as a pinch hitter against Garcia. Takes a strike at the knees. 0-1. Oh, and one. Oh, and one. It's all right, dude. It's all right. As this changeup pokes it the other way, as the, uh, the shift is going to hurt the Yankees, as this is going to roll all the way to the corner. It'll be a double for Caratini to lead things off here in the fifth. His seventh of the year, a pinch hit double, and that brings up Javi Baez, who's one for one with a walk and a single. He's been caught stealing twice, now swings through a fastball there, 0-1. Oh Garcia's starting to get a little gassed. Slider pokes foul, 0-2. Oh Can Garcia get the pitch to get him out this time? Fastball misses high, one and two. Now a change of hit to second. Uh, the runner will go to third, but Baez is out at first, so a productive out here for the Cubbies. And that'll bring up David Bodie, who's one for two with a single and a fly out to center. Yankees will trade a runner for an out. Swing and a miss on a fastball there, 0 oh and one. Slider misses outside, one and one. Yeah, I saw, that's insane. Insane, seven to one. As this curveball is lined to right, and that's gonna tie the ball game at three. It's an RBI single for Bodie as uh, Caratini scores. Yeah. <laughs> and now that'll bring up Chris Bryant as they try to get Garcia through five. Bryant takes a strike in the inside corner, O oh and one. Now a changeup, knocked towards left field. That'll be a base hit, cut off by Talkman. So two on and one out here in the fifth, a 3-3 ball game. And again, Adam Onovino is gonna start getting warmed up for the Yankees. That brings up Kyle Schwarber. He takes a fastball outside, oh one and oh. Likely if he loses him, this is Garcia's last hitter. The changeup, back up the middle, just what he needed. Torres to Vizcaino, on to Void at first. 6-4-3, inning ending double play. And Garcia gets through five, gives up three. At the end of five full, it's a tie ball game. 3-3 three, three here in Chicago. I know, that's a shame, AD, and none of those guys worked out for you. <laughs> Justin Steele now comes on for his 44th appearance of the year. Six and three out of the pen, 8.26 ERA, as Luke Voigt, who's 0 for two, now up at the plate. Again, no matter what, Adam Adovino is coming into the ball game. Voigt swings and misses on a fastball, 0-1. Oh, Double barrel action again now for the Cubbies. Top six tied at three. As Voigt chops this foul, 0-2. Oh, He's just been bad. Kansas has just been bad, man. As Voigt now pops up a fastball on the infield. Coming down from third is Chris Bryant calling everyone off. Makes the catch, one away. I don't know if he got injured again, but when he was, when he was play, playing, he did. He was play, not playing well. As Aaron Hicks now up at the plate. Yeah, because of all because of all the injuries he had. And Aaron Hicks goes opposite field. This one is deep but playable. Hayward makes the catch for the second out of the inning. And that'll bring up Gio Urshela. Urshela one for two today with a double. First pitch from Steele. Hold on the left field line, just foul. Oh, and one. Gio got a hold of that one, but it was just a little out in front of that changeup. Now a high fastball, one and one. Fastball, curveball, changeup is steal. That's what he throws. And now Gio Urshela goes opposite field again. This one is deep, but again, run down by Hayward. 
for the final out of the inning. So we go bottom six, tied at three. And that'll do it for Garcia as in comes Adam Adovino for the 37th time this year. A 3-2-6 ERA. Two and three out of the pen. Master of the slider. That is true. Everyone loves Todd Frazier. He's a great clubhouse guy. But he thinks he's the Todd Frazier when he's with the Reds. He's not anymore. I don't know if I'd say excellent dark stroke. He was good at third. But, like, I think he's lost a bit of a step, too. He's getting up there in age. And that brings up Wilson Contreras, who's one for two with a solo home run. Also hit into a double play. Rips a fastball foul. 0 oh and 1. Swing and a miss now on a slider, 0 oh and 2 as Contreras goes fishing. Another slider, this one fouled off. As Musty gets a dab, there you go, buddy. Three sliders in a row, this one laid off by Contreras, 1 and 2. Swing and a miss on the high heater, 1 away here in the 6th. And that'll bring up Jason Hayward, who's 0 for 1 with a walk. Takes a slider inside, 1 and 0. Oh. Now a cutter misses high, 2 and 0. Oh. Chops a fastball to the right side because of the shift. Vizcayeno there, throws the first from the outfield grass, 2 away here in the 6th. That brings up Ian Happ. Chops a slider to the left side, Urshela there because of the shift, throws the first. And it's a nice, easy one, two, three inning for Ottavino. We go bottom six. Yankees still tied with the uh, Cubs. Three to three. And that'll do it for Ottavino. Trevor May will now start warming up for the Yankees in the pen. We'll come in for the sev uh, seventh, it looks like. Uh, I'm from, uh, oh, are you, I'm talking, I didn't realize you were talking to me. Uh, is that Sky the left center field? That's going to be a base hit as it splits the outfielders and rolls all the way to the wall. Mike Talkman with a leadoff double here in the top of the seventh. His 19th of the year. And let's see who we got to get. Uh, we're going to bring in Clint Frazier. Clint Frazier will come in and pinch hit. A chance to give the Yankees the lead here in the seventh. And Clint Frazier skies one to center, making the catch. Oh no, and now they got Talkman in a rundown because he shouldn't have tried to go to go the. Oh, I should have, yeah, he was gonna get thrown out. I thought it was deeper. Ian Happ with the great play to get Talkman. So now nobody on and two outs for Vizcaino. It's a terrible play, should not have tagged up. But I wanted to get the run of the third. Swing and a miss by Viz Cayeno, 0 oh and 1. And Talkman just doesn't have the speed. Swing and a miss there, 0 oh and 2 now to Viz Cayeno. I thought it was deeper. I thought it was a deeper fly ball. I also didn't think Hap had that kind of an arm. And now Viz Cayeno skies won the left center. This one is going to split the outfielders and be off the top of the Ivy. So, see, if only he had, if I had not made a dumb play, not, not to say that obviously that would have happened. But uh, Vizcayeno doubles now. So runner on second again with two outs for Glaber Torres, who's uh, two for three with two singles. The first pitch to Torres, and Glaber Torres! Skies won the straightaway center field! Goodbye, baseball! Torres is 18th of the year, and the Yankees are now back up by two. It's five to three. So the Mike Talkman base running error is all good now as the Yankees take a two-run lead with Vizcaino on second. And Torres absolutely destroys that pitch. And now a double switch for the Cubbies. Indeed, Casey, indeed. So who's going to come in now? Brandon Morrow comes in out of the pen. 34th appearance of the year at 3-4-5 ERA. And just because it doesn't tell you, and I hate that about the game, um, Lagares now comes into center field. 
So there you go. Juan Lagares is now the center fielder. So now Aaron Judge against Morrow. Swings and misses on a fastball. 0 and 1. It probably will be Jack. It probably will. <laughs> The 0-1 to Judge. Chopped back up the middle. Slow roller through for a base hit. So Aaron Judge gets his third single of the day. Good night, Jello. Take care, buddy. And that will bring up Gary Sanchez with a three-run bomb earlier. Sorry, wrong button there. Uh, Moro fastball cutter slider. Judge off first. Two outs. Top seven. Takes a fastball low, does Gary. 1-0. All right, let's see if we can get that W, Jello. <laughs> As now Gary chops one foul, one and one. Just a bit late on the 97 mile an hour heat. Wind is actually carrying very much to left field tonight. That's probably part of the reason why Gary's bomb sailed out of here. It didn't just hit the top of the wall. As there is a strike at the knees, one and two. Now this back up the middle, and that's a base hit. Gary Sanchez right back through the box. So back-to-back -back two out singles here for the Yankees in the seventh. They got something cooking again. And that'll bring up Luke Voigt, who's 0 for 3 tonight with a pop out in his last at bat. Good speed at second, not good speed at first. The first pitch to Voigt is hammered through for a base hit. Judge is being waved home. Here's the throw by Schwarber. The relay is not in time. It's an RBI single for Luke Voigt. And the Yankees are now up 6-3. to three. Again, Judge has good speed. He was going with the crack of the bat. And he just slides in ahead of the tag from Contreras. As that brings up Aaron Hicks, who's 0-2 and hit by a pitch in his last half bat. Again, runners at first and second. Terrible speed on the base pads, though. Going to need something in the gap, probably, to score, or at least Gary. That's fouled back and out of play, 0-1. So all those runs charged to steal, I believe. Actually, no, that one's charged to Morrow. As this is skied to right center field. Fairly deep. Hap going back. Makes the catch to end the inning. But the Yankees score three. Torres with a two-run bomb. And then three straight singles by Judge Sanchez and Voigt. And the Yankees are now up six to three. Get up and stretch here in Chicago. Take me up. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Trevor May now on here in the bottom of the seventh. Hope you had a fun seventh inning stretch. I'm gonna try and lock things down for the Yankees here in the seventh. As uh, May gets his warm up pitches ready. Jared Young leading things off. He's 0 for 2. He's struck out and hit to a double play. Fouls off a fastball there from May. 0 and 1. Uh, yeah, AD, the Yankees have a really good farm system. Debbie Garcia and Clark Schmidt, I think, are going to be two great pitchers. Um, as that's low, 1 and 1. Now this one is rocketed to right. Judge going back. The ball carrying a bit, but Judge makes the catch in the corner for the first out of the inning. That brings up Juan Laguerres for his, his first at bat of the game. 281, four homers, 14 RBIs. Fouls off a high fastball, 0 and 1. Hitting in the pitcher's spot after the double switch last inning. Does that change that misses outside? 1 and 1. The 1 1 is fouled off the plate, 1 and 2. Also, outfielders like Jason Dominguez and stuff like Yankees are going to be set for a while, I think, as this is fielded. Oh, Vizcaino throws it away. An error there on the second baseman, and that keeps uh, man on now for Javi Baez. You don't want Baez up with runners on. He can, he can make this a one-run game super quick. As this is chopped to the right side and through for a base hit. Vizcaino, see, because Vizcaino is now playing double play depth, that ball made it through, and suddenly now, Bode is up as the tying run for the Cubbies. The first pitch, skied to left center field. Hicks going back, Hicks! Cannot get there because the game held him up for some reason. 
It's gonna go as a long single. I don't know what happened there. He should have ran that down. And now the bases are loaded for Chris Bryant. He takes the fastball inside, one and oh. Yankee bullpen might blow this game. There's a strike in the outside corner, one and one. Yeah, you would think, <laughs> he is, he is dark stroke, he is. What a terrible error though. This is what happens so often, is swing and a miss there and a slider for the Yankees. We make an error and then the wheels come off. This one fouled off by Bryant, one and two. Outside slider, two and two. That's low, three and two. Swarber on deck. What you gonna do? Nowhere to put him. Oh, just got a piece of that change up. Did uh, Chris Bryant. Swing and a miss, he blew the fastball by him for strike three. A huge K for May. And that'll bring up, that'll bring up uh, Schwarber now. Oh, actually we're gonna go to, uh, we're gonna go to a mound visit now, talk to May. But don't worry, because now in it was just by time for Zach Britton. Zach Britton now going to come in and try and get this out. What's up, Victor? How's it going? Britton's 47th appearance of the year. A 1-2 and two record out of the pen. 56 innings pitched. Can Britton get the big out they need here in the 7th? Bases loaded, two outs full of Cubs. Britton is a contact, well actually he's a strikeout pitcher. He can strike guys out, but he's also very good at getting ground balls. Can Britton get out Schwarber? That is the question. He seems to be good to go. Schwarber now up at the plate. Ooh, sinker just misses outside. One and O. Oh. Two and O oh as Britain is missing outside with the sinker. Three and O oh as Britain can't seem to throw a strike. There's a strike with the splitter, three and one. That's a huge comeback pitch. And they call ball four on what looked like strike two. Britain walks in an unearned run against May. And now that'll bring up Contreras who takes a strike in the corner, O oh and one. And now Contreras knocks this to second. No, it goes through. They're gonna wave the run home. The throw is up the line and the Cubs have tied it up. Vizcayena looked like he was gonna get to it, but it goes under his glove. And it's 6-6 now as Jason Hayward is up at the plate. And Britain just failed to do the job again. Oh, unbelievable. And unfortunately, I imagine those two of those runs will be earned. Yeah, two, oh no, none of them are earned against May. That's a shame as Britain gets his first blown save of the year. And now this is chopped back up the middle. Vizcayano goes the short way and the Yankees finally get out of it. Uh, so we have a Discord chat for my podcast, Money Man, Geeks Who Like Sports. We've been kind of using that. Uh, but the Cubbies have tied the game up on Yankee errors. Another double switch now coming here. All right, Jello, take care, buddy. Have a good one. It's all good. Trust me, I'm tired too. As Kyle Ryan comes on for his 48th appearance of the year. It's been a long day, guys. Gio Urshela leading things off. Ryan Cutter, sinker, fastball, curveball pitcher. This uh, cutter stays outside to Geo, one and O. Oh. Oh, 
Tommy Canely now warming for the Yankees. The 1 0 to Geo. Swing and a miss on a low cutter. 1 and 1. Oh, I can't believe it. It's Cayeno. He's a good bat, but he's a bit of a liability at second base. What are you going to do? It's Geo goes opposite field, but caught there by the first baseman for the first out of the inning. That'll bring up Mike Talkman now. He's one for three. He doubled back in the seventh. Double barrel action for the Cubbies. A whole new ball game here in the eighth. Tied at six. The Yankee bullpen blew it. Swing and a miss by Talkman. 0 oh and 1. Miller and McGee, McGill warming. The 0 oh 1. And it's a shame, too, because if Judge made a better throw, he gets the run at home. Fielded by Baez. Throw to first. In time, two away. Now the Yankees will bring in Jason Dominguez. Speaking of Dominguez, the rookie uh, outfielder hitting three, 294 with three homers and 20 RBIs. It's a good switch hitter. Has a little bit of pop. Ball carrying the left. And Dominguez skies one the left center field. This one is going to be gone. Goodbye, baseball. Jason Dominguez, a pinch hit. Go ahead, solo home run, his fourth of the year. And the Yankees are back up seven to six. Jason Dominguez gets a hold of one. And again, the ball was carrying the left and it just kept on going. Goodbye, baseball. Uh, it's a wall scraper, but it counts all the same. The Yankees get the lead back here, and this Cayeno feels good after that error cost them the lead in the bottom of the seventh. See if he can't make up for it a little bit with his own bat here. And Viz Cayeno gets a hold of one, and he does as the Yankees go back to back and belly to belly, and it's off the show shine, the show sign in left field, his ninth of the year, and Ryan is just giving up the long ball now. It's 8-6 Yankees. Elvis Vizcayeno. Elvis leaves the building. It's 8-6 New York, and that does it for Ryan. In comes Tyson Miller for his 53rd appearance of the year. 3-0 out of the pen. With Blaber Torres at the plate, hit a two-run bomb earlier. Now a little inside-out swing, popped up to second. Bodie makes the catch, but the Yankees retake the lead. We're going bottom eight. Tommy Canely now on the mound for his 37th appearance of the year. Try and lock this down and build the bridge to Hendricks. Indeed. Clutch indeed. Hernan Perez will uh, pinch hit, hitting 254, 11 homers, 28 RBIs. Takes a changeup for a strike, 0 oh and 1. Dominguez's fourth homer of the year is 21st RBI. And now the 0-2 from Canely, swing and a miss on a nasty slider. One away here in the eighth. Back to back and belly to belly. All right, Musty, take care, buddy. See you next time. Hopefully see you tomorrow. Now leading things off is Young. Fouls off a changeup, 0-1. First baseman's had a rough night at the plate. Just chases a fastball there, 0-2. Now hit down the third, Urshela backhands, fires the first in time, two away here in the eighth. That brings up Juan Lagares, who reached on Vizcayeno's error and came around to score earlier. Fouls off a change up there, 0 oh and 1. Happens every time. Yankees make an error, the other team scores. As this is knocked to short, Torres there. Fires the first in time, and Canely has himself an easy eight-pitch eighth inning. We go top nine, Yankees still up by two. That'll bring up Aaron Judge, who's three for four with three singles and two runs scored. Liam Hendricks now getting ready to pitch the ninth, as long as it stays a save situation. This one misses high and outside to Judge, one and oh. Uh, New Jersey. I'm from New Jersey, AD. I grew up in North Jersey, maybe 20 minutes away from Yankee Stadium. Well, at least the city, I should say. 
Uh, on a good day, you can get to the stadium in 20 or 30 minutes, but rare. That's rare. As that misses outside 2-0. Being very careful with Judge. The 2-0 is inside, 3-0. We can put the controller down now because we're going to take a couple pitches. Gary Sanchez on deck. Gary's had a good day, a home run and a single. Trying, Casey. We're trying. Ball four. Judge takes the walk, so a leadoff walk by Miller. Now that'll bring up Gary Sanchez. Again, two for three, a home run, a single, three RBIs, also a walk today. Yeah, it, it is dark stroke. I miss it. <laughs> the first pitch to Gary. That's outside, and Miller's thrown five straight balls. We're not going to touch the controller until he throws a strike. Oh, and that one just called a strike. I'm surprised the umpire gave it to him, considering five straight out of the zone. But one and one now to Sanchez as that just caught the black. Now two and one as that misses inside. And now Sanchez pops up a fastball foul. Two and two. Just close enough to give an offering. Trying to avoid the double play here if possible. Judge off of first. And Gary chops it to third. Like I said, double play ball. Bryant to Bodie. On to, uh, to first. Young at first. Two away here now in the ninth as the Cubs go around the horn. Five, four, three. Now that'll bring up Luke Voigt, who's one for four with an RBI single, his 55th RBI of the year. Big comeback there by Miller. Swing and a miss on a slider by Voigt. 0 oh and 1. Yankees wanted some insurance runs this inning, but couldn't get it, unfortunately, unless Voigt does something here. And Voigt did something all right. Luke! Luke Voigt! Oh my goodness, an absolute bomb to left. Goodbye, baseball. His 27th of the year. Call him State Farm as there's an insurance run for the Yankees. It's 9-6 New York now. Luke Voigt got a hold of one. His 27th of the year, his second RBI of the day. The Yankees are back up by three. What's up, money dude? How's it going? That brings up Aaron Hicks now. Fouls off an inside fastball, 0 and 1. So still a save situation. Hicks 0 for 3 with a hit by pitch today. Uh, so Hendricks continues to warm in the Yankee pen. And now as Hicks chops this to second, this should end the inning. Tough throw there by Bodie, but he makes it. We go bottom nine. Yankees up 9 to 6. Liam Hendricks now making his. 41st appearance of the year, a 203 ERA, 35 saves on the year, looking for number 36. We'll take his warm up pitches here, make sure that uh, uh, get all the kinks out. So the Yankees are going to end up getting, look, possibly getting this win. And funny thing is, I think. Britain will actually end up getting the W, even though he, he was part of the reason why all those runs were given up, as he blew a save. But he'll improve to 2-2 two and two if the Yankees hold on. Yeah, Luke Voigt, man. Luke Voigt. Absolutely unbelievable. What a great acquisition for the Yankees. So Liam Hendricks now will start off against Javi Baez, who's 2-3 for three with two singles, a run scored, and a walk. Swings to a fastball there, 0 and 1. Now another fastball, skied the left center field, just off the end of the bat, looked like, uh, for Baez. Actually, wow, that really carried the left. The ball is carrying out that way tonight. Hicks makes the catch on the lip of the track for the first out of the inning. Now that'll bring up David Bodie, who's 3 for 4, 3 singles, an RBI, and a run score. Top of the lineup really hurt the Yankees tonight. As there's a strike, 0 and 1. Also, what really hurt the Cubs was Baez got caught stealing twice. As Bodie fouls one off on the right field line, 0 and 2. And this is if, if Baez doesn't get caught stealing and give the Yankees two free outs, who knows what happens? As Bodie swings and misses, goes fishing on an outside slider, two away here in the ninth, and that'll make 
Chris Bryant, the last hope for the Cubs. One for three with a single. Also struck out a couple times. Takes one at the belt, 0 and 1. Yeah, I mean, at the time, you didn't know what Gallegos was going to be. And Shreve, I don't even... Is Shreve even in baseball anymore? As it's now 0 and 2 to Bryant. Hendricks looking to lock it down. Swing and a miss on the curveball. Just like that, Hendricks strikes out two. Britain gets the win. The Yankees start off his road trip in stunning fashion, coming back a couple times and beat the Cubs 9-6. to six. Uh, This is the last game of the stream, Maximus. We're going to ask uh, Streams on the Mets, so well, there you go. Like, um, The Yankees win 9-6. to six. Britain the win. Ryan the loss. Hendricks the save. Torres, again, your player of the game. Kyle Ryan drops to three and four. Zach Britton improves to two and two.